Hey, everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, second-year quarterback Deshaun Watson in the Houston Texans. Take on Alex Smith and the Washington Redskins. With that, let's get on up to FedEx Field near Washington. Standing by for the call of this one, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Just as we were getting ready for air, both teams coming out of their locker rooms, out of the tunnel, and this crowd is pumped up as their Redskins get set to match up with the Houston Texans. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And, CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So out comes the Redskins offense now onto the field. It'll be the number one pick from back in 2005, leading him onto the field. Their 14-year veteran out of Utah, it's Alex Smith. And despite another terrific season from Alex Smith in Kansas City, he knew, Kansas City knew, from the moment Patrick Mahomes was drafted, this day was going to come sooner rather than later. Now he goes to Washington and replaces Kirk Cousins. Two different quarterbacks. Kirk Cousins a little more of the freewheeling sort. Alex Smith more deliberate, more controlled, but can still throw that dagger pass downfield. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10. Now the first carry for Adrian Peterson. And he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They establish the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. To throw on second down is Smith. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Play fake here on first down. This one complete to Jordan Reed. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards on the play. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. It's complete on the bubble screen. That's Richardson. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. 
Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Again, Smith, wide open receiver complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing under pressure and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Zach Cunningham with a big time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. So not much to speak of scoring wise in this first quarter of play. Can't wait to see what the second quarter has in store. We'll head back to FedEx Field after this timeout. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back live, Charles Davis to my right. I'm Brandon Gauden. It's Redskin football to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. And the first play will be a field goal try. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And Hopkins' kick is good. And it's 3-0 as a Redskin strike first. So a pretty good opening drive that'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys are good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope. The good things are in store here today, Paul. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. Their franchise quarterback, the one leading him out, back to full health now for his second season out of Clemson. It's Deshaun Watson. What a start to his NFL career as a rookie. 19 touchdown passes in just six starts. That was more touchdowns than Joe Flacco, Tyrod Taylor, or Marcus Mariota. And Houston went one and eight after losing him, which lent credence to many people saying he should have been the rookie of the year based on his play and how Houston did without him. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 27. Now a first carry for Deontay Foreman, who was lost to the Achilles injury last year. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Here's Watson now on second down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. It's a loss of two, now third down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way, lost yardage. 
No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you <laughs> move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. From the gun on third, Watson. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime need to give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. After the interception, here's Smith, and it's incomplete. Jordan Reed was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Second and 10, Smith again. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Zach Cunningham in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Well, there was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. They'll run it now out of the gun. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. I wonder if they just kind of outguess themselves a little bit trying to run it on third down. Probably should have gone to the air to try and pick it up. Instead, the punting unit will have to run on the field. So on fourth down, the Redskins will call on Tressway to punt it away. Tyler Irvin back deep. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team. Right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. Here's a carry for a former starter. This is Lamar Miller. 
Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Give the tackle there to Josh Norman. It's hurry up mode time for the Texans hustling up to the line. On second down, here's Watson. And this will complete to Will Fuller. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. To throw is Watson. Throw left side complete to QT. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. Watson now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. Out of the gun, Watson. And he'll find QT on the right side complete. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Ten, three, da -da, three, da -da. The final shot before the break. Watson going deep for Hopkins. Oh, ball batted in the air and now it's intercepted. Picked off by DJ Swearinger. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So we've reached halftime here in D.C. in our nation's capital with a home team, the Redskins, on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been all about the defense. Just a lone field goal in that first half. And as a result, not too much available in terms of of highlights, but that's okay. We've got a full half to go. And to bring it your way, let's get back out to Brandon and Charles. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. Fielded about a yard deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Deshaun Watson and the Texans offense trot back out there. And he's had some time to chew on that interception he threw on his last drive back in the first half. Well, normally we say, want well, to get him right back out on the field and play again, right? But as you mentioned, had the halftime, had to stew about it a little bit. Maybe he'll have a chance to relax a little and kind of laugh and chuckle and let it go. He'll hope to respond positively here to start the third quarter. 
Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 24. Here's Watson. And his throw is incomplete. Well, CD, a quick look back at week four in the NFL. Not good for rookie QBs. They went 0 for 4. Yet Rosen and Mayfield making their first starts. Both close losses. Yeah, and Sam Darnold took on Jacksonville, one of the better defenses in the league. That's a tough go, and obviously lost that game. And then how about Josh Allen in Buffalo going to Green Bay, the Packers wearing the throwback uniforms. He almost didn't have a chance in that one. That was a really difficult one. But you mentioned Rosen and Mayfield. Close losses, acquitted themselves pretty well overall, although Mayfield did turn it over four times in the game. But I like what we're seeing out of them. The one winner, though, is Lamar Jackson, but it doesn't go on his record. He wasn't the starting quarterback, used a little bit in their game in their win over Pittsburgh. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Deron Payne, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Throwing on third down, Watson. He's going to go for a big play downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. It was DJ Swearinger right there on the coverage. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. The Texans send the punter out as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Crowder now to return. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. So here's the Redskins offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We've got, de we got, the, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. So statistically, both of these offenses having a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. They'll run it now out of the gun. He lost two there, and it's third down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Third and long, it's Smith. And he drops this off to Thompson complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Give him seven on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Here's Tressway now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. And now out comes Houston. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. 
They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Play action for Miller. Now Watson. He's going to float this one. He's got him in. Complete. That one goes for 36 yards. Press coverage on the outside. And for defenders, that's the ultimate risk reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping him on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. On first down, it's Watson. But it's caught on the right side, it's Snell. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 16 yards on that one, and also a Texan first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Watson on first down. It's complete to Fuller. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys and plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. That's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. Throw on second is Watson. That's complete right around the eight. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. He's back to throw. And that's incomplete. Quentin Dunbar right there on the coverage. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here a hundred times. Nothing good is going to happen. And if you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Back to throw. That is incomplete. The Pro Bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver, and it's third down. 
But he's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Black 22! Black 22! Back to throw. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. Fourth down now and defensively. Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And we are all tied here in the final stages. This hasn't exactly been a battle of one touchdown after the other, quite the opposite. But at 3-3 now here in the fourth, it's been an entertaining game considering just two field goals. Yeah, is it really a football game now or are we watching baseball? This feels like a pitcher's <laughs> duel, doesn't it? Nice and tense on the edge of your seat. Have you been scoring this one? A lot of, a lot of strikeouts and ground balls in this one. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Clock running as the Redskins try to hurry up. Now maybe a free play here for Smith. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Offside defense. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take Still a whole second lot, down. does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, <laughs> you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. So after the penalty, here's second and three. Now Smith. He shakes him off. But he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The four-time All-Pro, J.J. Watt. And it'll be third down. Now it's Smith. He finds his target. It's Crowder. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Smith. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play.
Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. I said, I said, I said, I said. Smith now to throw. Incomplete. He was looking to get that one to Chris Thompson. And it's third down. Back-to-back -back big plays defensively. First the sack. Now they force the incompletion on third and long. Things looking pretty good for them. And this is where they have to be careful because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. Look out. Draw, screen, something that could be used against them. Set, line, Third down, it's Adrian Peterson. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. And a loss of three to bring up four. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for Washington. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the seven yard line. And we've got free football, four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. a little teaching moment here overtime rules remind us how this goes partner okay so in the past we had sudden death first team to score wins but no longer now if the team receives the ball scores a touchdown they win the game if they kick a field goal though or don't score the other team gets a possession and after both teams get a possession then we're into sudden death first team to score wins the game So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and ten. Set, five, they start the drive with Peterson. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. First throw here in overtime for Smith. And this would complete to Reed. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Third and eight situation. A tough spot here in overtime on the opening drive. Smith. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Going down back at the 28. He lost two and it brings up fourth. 
Well, their defense did its job. Now they're going to get the football with a chance to win it. And it feels like they ran out on the field, and right before they did, they told the offense, don't worry about this. We got you. Okay, we've got the situation under control. We'll get it back for you for a chance to win the game. And, boy, they did it well. Here's Tressway now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it, but they turned it back over to them, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Now part one is done, now part two. Throw an OT for Watson. Wide open receiver complete. And they work this out past the 25. A good pick up there, a 22. Backed up deep in their own territory. They were in search of a cushion, and the cushion was found. And you have to think total game, even in overtime. As a head coach, field position still counts in this spot. So they had to get out from the shadow of their own goal line get themselves some breathing room. Obviously, that helps them on offense, but it may help their defense, too. Might be necessary here in OT. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. Watson now 10 of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first and 10. Back 22. Back 22. Ah. Off of play action, it's Watson. Over the middle, that's caught by QT. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Ten. Back 22! Back 22! Ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. <laughs> and he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. That's their second and last time out here in the overtime session. We'll be back. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. Second down, here's Miller. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The Texans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two.
Now it's Watson. A bootleg. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They go play action here on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath. And boy, oh boy, the moment of truth as it comes down. Man, that was something. Everything magnified here in overtime. His throw incomplete. Will Fuller was the intended target. And it's third down. Another nice job there defensively. They've really stymied their passing attempts. And it continues in overtime. And for them to do that, that means they've had to be cohesive on defense. Pressure in the quarterback's face. Good coverage of not just the, the wide receivers, but the tight end, the running backs when they try and slip out, and making sure they're at the point of attack. When the ball's in the air, they get there and help force some of those incompletions. Here's Watson, and this is going to be incomplete. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. We were just treated to an absolute dandy in this one. A great finish in overtime with a long field goal. Everybody, including us, on the edge of their seats. Quite a game. And it's rare that you get a game into overtime that it doesn't turn out to be a dandy, right? That's what we saw here. And just what you were talking about, a long field goal to win it. So definitely not a gimme. So there was tension all the way through until the ball went through the post. But it did go through the post. Ice water was in his veins. So that'll just.